Target. I got this bright neon shirt or tank top that was only six bucks. I love their tank tops and shirts because they're like six to ten dollars right now. I don't know if they're always like that, but it's really pretty and bright. Next, I got these pair of shorts that are like a mint color or a pistachio color, and it's by the Massimo Supply brand. And this is what the back looked like. Sorry, these are really wrinkly. I've already wore them. But these were $15, I believe. And they also came with a belt, but I can't find it right now. So, yep. I got them in black. And these fit a little bigger. Um, they actually have pockets on the back. I like that. And I've also worn these. And like I said, that came with a belt, too. Oh, the last thing from Target is these shoes. They're just basic. They look like Keds, but they're not. And they also came with pink shoelaces. Um, they were only $4, and you can't beat that, so I decided to pick these up. I wore them today. And, oh, my favorite item. I'll be right back. item is actually this purse that I got on clearance. It's like a chartreuse yellow green color and it has a chain and it hits me like right there or you can wear it like this. I think it's really cute. It has some studding details around here. A pocket and this unzips and it's pretty big for a little um or it has pretty much a good size in it. I love this. This was on clearance for $13. So let me go ahead and sit back. Sorry about that. I wasn't prepared. But, um, that was all from Target. Next, I'll do, I'll do CVS last. We'll do Goodwill. So I only got two items from Goodwill. I picked up, they used to be jeans, but I've already cut them, but I haven't washed them yet. They're by Levi's, they're size 8 medium, and as you can see I already cut the bottom down here. And I'm just going to wear them as high-waisted shorts. I love the back, I like the pockets. And the other pair of pants I bought, I love these and I tried them on, they fit pretty good. I don't, I'm not sure what this brand is called, Cut? Cut maybe? But they look like this. I love the front and the back. These make your butt look good. And I think they're for petites or for short people because the length fits really good too. So the first pair were only $2.50 and these were $5. I've noticed like our Goodwill has, um, or the one in, um, about 15 minutes away was really expensive. I was like, this is not thrift, thrift shopping prices. Like, a purse was $15 or something. You can go to Walmart and buy a brand new purse. Like, I don't know. It was really expensive, but I really enjoyed, like, digging through all the clothes and trying to find some treasures. Okay, so that stuff was from Goodwill. The next I will do Ulta. And I did like to spend ten dollars and get uh, three fifty off. I think it was. Let's put that down here. I went to Essence Beauty, their little section, and I seen um, Leanne says here on YouTube she had hauled this, and I think Too Faced makes one of them, but it's just the volumizing lash powder, but it's. It's not powder, it looks like little cotton that's supposed to cling onto your lashes and then you um, put on your mascara and it makes your lashes longer. I haven't tried this yet, but I'm really excited to. The next thing is the Essence I Love Stage Eyeshadow Base. I've been trying this out and I'll show you the color. I wanted an eyeshadow base that had color to it because my e.l.f. one doesn't have color. I really love this. And this stuff's so cheap too at Ulta. It's like wet and wild prices. And then I got the Essence Eyeshadow in 
Disco Diva metallic effect. That's like my favorite um, kind of eyesh eyeshadow is a metallic look. I'm going to swatch it for you. Pretty pigmented. This was like a dollar and something. But then I had the coupon. It's a really pretty purpley color. When you wear a base and like a Jumbo NYX eyeshadow pencil, it really makes the color pop. As you can see, it has a metallic sheen to it. Okay. And then I also got my stepsister, the uh, Essence liquid liner, but I don't have that with me because I gave that to her. Hold on, let me get something to wipe my hands off with real quick. Okay. The next thing, the last store I went to was, or that I have here, is CVS. One of my favorite stores because you can keep on and get extra bucks and I don't know, I love it. The first thing in here is the Kiss French Acrylic Sculpture Kit. First time I put acrylic on my nails and I did an okay job. I, I try to do like the stiletto nail look, but yeah, I use this kit and I love it. This was $10 at CVS. Um, then I wanted to do my sister's nails, and she is 13, I believe. She's a teenager, and um, these nails wouldn't fit her. So I went and purchased these at CVS. This was $7.50, and it comes with the glue. And I think it comes with 100 pieces in here. I'm not too sure. Um, I got this Bite It, the easy way to stop nail biting. That was five dollars. And now into the, well I'll do these next two items. I got this polish by Revlon Colorstay. It's kind of hard to tell. It's in Marmalade. It's a real pretty orange. It doesn't, it dries so slow though, so I always like nick it on something and mess it up. And then I have some, I picked this up for uh, my four or five year old sister. It's the Wet n Wild Jute Use. I don't know how to that's the Spanish side. Okay, come on, count. <laughs> Wet n Wild Juicy Lip Balm, SPF 15. And this one's in strawberry. This thing is freaking huge. It is jumbo. As you can see, you get quite a, a lot of product for $3.99. Smells delicious. Does give you a little tint of color, but it tastes horrible. It tastes so bad. It smells so good, though. I can't stand the taste, but I'm still going to wear it. It's, I guess it's the SPF in it or something, but... Ugh. Love the smell, and it's really moisturizing too. I hope this video turns out okay because my mom recently got an iPad mini or whatever it's called, and I'm using that to film them. Uh, sorry for all the noise. Okay, the next thing, or the last things, are some new products by CoverGirl. Well, at least I think these are new. My mom picked them out. It's the CoverGirl Single Eyeshadows. This one's just in 350. It's like a pearly white. I was not impressed with these. That is so chalky. So, so chalky. I mean, if you could... I haven't used it on my eyes because I'm not really impressed. That would be a good highlight, though. Let's see. Oh, yeah, that looks nice and shiny. Probably can't tell in the video. But I'm not too impressed with that. Even, I mean, the black is pigmented, I think. I'm about to show you. And they feel cheap, like wet and wild quality. And I think those were like five and some change. This one's in the number 300. It's just like a black with glitters. But she did get a really good deal on these, so that's what's up. But... This is powdery too, but 
pretty pigmented. Gorgeous shade. I'll see if I can work with it. Okay. Get that off my finger. Ah! I'm going to try them out and we'll see how they work. Alright. Some more CoverGirl, except for one thing. These are all going to be lip products. So like the eyeshadows, my mom got a great deal on these CoverGirl Lip Perfection. You could get extra bucks and she had some coupons. So, if you could read it, I don't know. But these are the shades she guys has. This one I believe, there's no name on here. It's 255 or 23 something. I think this one is in Fig Twist. They're really moisturizing, smooth, it's a balm. These aren't a stain now. It's more of a darker one. And they don't smell good, they don't smell like anything really. This one I cannot remember the name, I'll have to look it up or something. that one. They all look the same. I feel like it. I'm going to try to get a good... There you go. Kind of. It's more pinky. This one's more of a fig color and that's more pinky. The next one is probably going to look very similar. It's more of a... Let's see how... It has some orange in it. Or like a coral color. Yeah, you can tell that it has more of a coral color. Yep, so these are just like a balm texture. They don't stain your lips or anything. But I have really have been enjoying these. I actually have, I think I have this song. This and the Wet n Wild Strawberry Lip Balm. So the last two things is another cover girl. This is the Lip Slicks Smoochies. And this flavor is in Text Me. These smell awesome. They're like a chapstick and they have a tint to them. These actually have a pretty good tint. I wanted to get a dark one because that's the kind of colors my mom likes. And I do. Oh, they smell like strawberry or something. But that one's really pigmented. Even the, um, it's darker in the tube, you would think. This would come out different, like darker, the big one, but it really doesn't. I would say these chapstick lip balm things are much more pigmented. Well, at least the dark one I've tried. And they smell wonderful, so I love that. The last thing is a, I think this is Maybelline. No, this is CoverGirl also. I got a CoverGirl lipstick in 405 Fairy Tale. This is like more colors like this, the corally pinks. And what I like to do with this, I'll show you the color. It's just dabbing on my lips. That's what I've been liking to do with lipsticks so they don't look so bam, pigmented in your face, but, um, yeah, this is fairy tale. so I'll just dab it on my lips and maybe add a gloss or something, I really do, that's not my only, uh, I think I have one more cover girl, I have this one in Divine, which is so gorgeous, this gorgeous purple, I've had this though, I love to wear it. Summer, fall, winter, all the time. Just think it's so pretty. That purpley color. So pretty. Okay, guys, so that was my haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, go check out some of the CoverGirl new products. I really enjoyed the uh, Lip Perfection Jumbo Gloss Balm. I really enjoyed the CoverGirl lipstick smoochies, even though I got this last night, I have tried it. Um, the lipstick is a real pretty color. 
and I love the wet and wild wet and wild balm. Just hate the taste. So um yeah, thank you for watching and have a nice day. Bye.